How's it going everyone? Back in another exciting Enchanter video. So today it's not going to be a full video. Oh, my alarm's going off. It's not going to be a full video. Uh, it's going to be a quick one on this AFK camp that I am doing. It's during the week. As I said before, I'm super busy during the week. So I said, you know, I want an AFK camp where I can just come back, kill a couple things, and then go AFK. And I found a great spot. We are in N Najina, back by the Widow Mistress, and she is not a very good mistress. Don't let her beauty deceive you. She will jack you up, <laughs> and don't ask me how I know. So um, so here's the Widow Mistress, and she's actually um, the sp one of the spiders who, who pops here is actually her placeholder. So you could come back there and see a spider in the spot. He's stationary, but like if you kill him a couple times, she will eventually pop, which, which is not a big deal. Again, this is an AFK camp, and I love it. It's on 19-minute timers. I am level 26 now, um, and I've been here since 24, and I'm gaining about a level a day here by just coming back when I have time and killing some stuff and then going AFK again. But um, we are killing these Black Widow Spiders, and you might wonder, why aren't they attacking me? Because of the awesome racial hide. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love it. Because you can just go AFK when you want, hide, con something, and you're good to go. But um, the spider here, he pops in this room right here, and then he passed back and forth. And then right back here is your other spider. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wait for him to pass back over here. I got the hide thing all figured out now, and the invis thing figured out now, so it's going a lot smoother. Yeah. Um, there's actually a third spider. He, um, I'll show you in a second that I do kill if I have time. Oh, here he comes. Go ahead and give him a mez. Tash. Charm. Boom. Now this camp is super easy. Very, very low stress. So, uh, yeah. And then I just come back here. I don't want to get too close to my mistress over there. Because I don't want her to stab me in the throat like she did last time. Uh, wait for Mez to drop off. There we go. Now, at 26, um, a couple of them are starting to go green. But it's still not a bad experience. I'm going to go ahead and tash this guy. I'm shooting the always. Now what I do, I drop Tash, and then I get up invis in that spot for when I need to break. So I don't have to sit there and click hide freaking 30 times. I was getting I was getting a little uh, a little frustrated on that. Huh, did I not root? Oh man, I'm a bad enchanter. Okay. Here we go. But yeah. This is the camp right here. It's two guys, 19 minute timers. Uh, be sure you don't fail like I just did and not root. And Mez, obviously that is vital for charm breaks. Um, I think these spiders are around level 20-ish or so. So at, at 26, they are like every once in a while, I'll get a green one. So I don't know how much longer I can stay here. And I'll go ahead and break. And I should have enough room. And actually, he is close enough to being dead that he will run up. What? Oh, that was a fail. Okay, usually at that low of health, they uh, run. Oh, because that spider's closer. Yeah, so you kill him. That guy's almost dead. He'll take about a nuke and a half. Now, um, I see he does have a poison on him, so I need to be careful that... The poison does not kill him. And I'm going to go ahead and root him because I do not want him to walk over by the mistress. I should use a smaller nuke, but I don't care. <laughs> you know, in um, AFK camps like this, it's really not a big deal because it's not like um, I got to conserve my mana for, for something else. And then that's it, guys. That's it. So, and again, they're on 19 minute timers. You kill them both, set your timer, go do whatever you have to do and come back. Um, and I'll show you where the other spider is. I don't quite have, I might have enough mana to kill it, but 
I'll show you where it's at. You, usually what I'll do, I'll kill these two, I'll go AFK, and then if I have time in like five or six minutes, then I'll come back and run over and, and kill the other one. But I will show you where it's at. It's a great spot. I love it. It's pretty quiet back here too. I've only seen a few people back here, but you run over here and here's a camp right here that I'm too much of a sissy to try to break, but they're all kind of green anyways. So I guess I don't really care, but you invis up and the third spider, if you have time is here. If not, then you just kill those two. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Now I am a little lowish on mana. If I get no breaks, then I'll be okay. You know what? Whatever. Let's live on the edge. Let's live on the edge. Root, Tash, and then we're going to turn into wizards. I'm a wizard. Harry, I'm a wizard. And you nuke it down. Is that even how that goes? I don't know. I, never, I don't think I've ever watched Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, you're a wizard, Harry. Something like that. <laughs> Ooh, and then you just nuke it down, which I probably shouldn't have done that because I was a little low on mana and this nuke takes a lot. But this is the third spider. So easy as this. Oh, I got this guy. No problem. No problem. I'm, uh, if I get breaks, then I probably would have had to have messed him, freaking give him a mimbler. Um, but um, as far as what they drop, now I'll click over to my smaller one. And then he... He'll pass back down here, so it, it, it's no big deal. As far as what they drop, they drop silk and um, these spider venom sacks. And loot the spider venom sacks because they sell for like five plat or five gold a piece, and they stack, which is nice. And they do drop silk as well. What I wish I would have done back in Guck is actually picked up the tailoring skills, so I could have turned all of that silk in the swatches and vendor them for for just extra you know plat or sell them i go to ec tunnel but i'm way too lazy to go to ec tunnel to sell that stuff way too lazy then i invis up so i don't get freaking beat up by a bunch of angry mob of goblins and i come over here i target my widow mistress i drop my invis and um, hide until it actually works. And then I go AFK. Simple as that. Again, you don't got to do a third spider over there. If you, um, you know, if you don't want to, there are some times where I don't have time and I just do, I, I just kill these two super simple, easy AFK, low stress camp. Um, this will not be my main video. There we go. She cons indifferent, so I am hidden. This will not be my main video for the week. It's just a quick thing to show you what I'm doing because I probably want to make my next video. I'm not going to be here because I want to go someplace more exciting, even though this is great and it's low stress. It's just, it's more fun for me and frustrating at times. It's more fun when there's a bunch of mobs and you have to do a bunch of crazy stuff. But um, yeah, other than that, um, one thing about hide, I would always pick like... If you're an enchanter thinking about, well, Dark Elf, oh, and, and the charisma's low, hide is absolutely worth it. You will love it because you can go AFK. Not for breaking charm. It sucks for that. But for going AFK, it is absolutely amazing. I wouldn't trade it for uh, anything. And I, I don't even notice anyways. Um, if you're fighting the correct mob levels, you won't even notice all the breaks anyways. But there you go, guys. That's going to be it for me. I'll have my real video out. Um, probably by the end of the weekend, you all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Check this camp out. It's, it's, it's freaking awesome. All right, y'all. Peace.